Hello, this is a video that's going to walk through how to how to create word lists using a program called RapidMiner. And so this is a text analysis technique. And it's developed for students in my research class. Uh, but anybody who's uh, looking to use RapidMiner will probably find this useful, hopefully. Uh, so I'm going to go to the, the site that we use, which is the Virtual Infrastructure for Data, Data Intensive Analysis, VIDIA. And uh, I'm going to log in. And through this site, we have access to the program. Uh, but if you're watching this and you're not part of the class, uh, you can go to rapidminer.com and download a free copy of RapidMiner. And uh, it's a very useful program, so it's well worth the investment of no money. <laughs> I mean, you can't really ask for a better price. Uh, so I'm going to start it up. Uh, once I get into my dashboard here, this might look slightly different for students. Uh, click the rapid miner and this is running virtually you know it's a program that runs through the web rather than on your computer uh, so it's gonna it's gonna load up a little differently I'll give it just a second here and it runs in Java so you could get the, the warning sign that comes up please do press run right here okay and additionally you see this icon here this new window will pop it out onto its own window and I like to do that because then it feels more like uh, a freestanding program rather than a virtual program and that's helpful again just taking a minute to load here Okay, and now I've got the window open, and we can begin. All right, so we're going to go to uh, in file, import process to begin. And then from this drop down, we're going to go up here to the top level and then to uh, data and Oneonta and word list. And we're going to be using the tweet, uh, tweet analysis word counts, which is the name of the process file. And we're going to open that. Okay. And this just gives you a little overview, this warning message. It's not a bad warning message. All right. So this is what we call the process. And so this is kind of the machine that uh, the text data will flow through. And uh, so what we're going to do is come down to this local repository area on the lower left hand side and we're going to uh, right click that and click store process here All right, we're going to give it a name we can just leave it that if we want I think I'll just I'll call it the uh, word list Click OK. All right. And now you see I've got some other stuff there that uh, I've used previously, so you won't see the same stuff. Uh, so it all depends on what you've got in your repositories. All right. So now what we do will be stored in the, uh, in the repository here. So the next thing we're going to do is import our data. So to do that, you see down here in the repository area, uh, if you click on this little icon here, you can choose to import a CSV file. Remember, if you go back to the same spot, we go to the root, data, Oneonta, and word list, and there it is. It's, uh, this is uh, mostly Twitter tweets. Uh, the keyword search was fracking. I've been interested in this topic of hydraulic fracturing and so I want to see what people are saying in social media with regard to fracking and most of the social media is Twitter data so we're gonna click next I'm gonna uncheck skip comments and we're gonna make sure that it says comma here and now we see that all the data has come into view and again if you're watching this uh, independent of the class I teach you know this this will depend on the, the structure of your own data set uh, this will look different for you we're going to 
click next. Okay, we're going to see basically all these different types of things, all the different uh, variables in the set. And for our purposes, we're not interested in everything. We're going to uncheck the following. We're going to uncheck title. Uh, we're going to uncheck URL. We're going to leave description. We're going to uncheck date. And we're going to uncheck influence. All right. Now down here, we have to specify some more things. Okay. Okay, next we have to tell RapidMiner what type of data we're dealing with here. And so you'll see this drop down menu under description, which is where, where the tweet data is, or R rather. And so we're going to call this text, all right, and we're going to leave that attribute there. And then under media type, we're going to make that one called nominal. All right, so let's find where nominal is in the list and leave attribute there. And also the same thing for sentiment. We're going to go to nominal. All right. So if everything is set up or ready to continue, we click next. And then we have to provide a name for this. So I'll call this frac word list. Okay. And then when we're done, we click finish. All right. So now it's going to import the data. And then it gives us this results view. When you import data, it takes you from the process view to the result view. All right, it gives you a, there's a results overview, which we'll have more when we do our analysis. And if we want to see uh, the process again, you see this icon with the pencil and paper, we click that. And now we're back to this. Only now appearing under the repository, we see our, our new uh, imported data set, which is frac word list. Okay. So now we've got our process set up and we've got our data imported. It's time to do the analysis. Okay, for the sake of organization, I think we should draw, drag and drop these to their respective locations. So word list, the process file, we're going to drag that and put it in the process folder. And frac word list, which is the data we imported, we'll put that in the data folder. All right. So now we've got to specify a couple more things before the analysis is ready. So we have to come over and click uh, this, this operator here that says retrieve. All right. Uh, let's see. And we're going to select where our data are located. So we're going to go to the FRAC word list repository, which is our imported data. If you hover over it, you get a little preview of that data. Click OK. And now this box knows where to get our data from. All right, we'll get in some of this uh, intermediary steps. Uh, takes a long discussion. We're going to just kind of bypass that. But what this is doing is it's processing the text data to get us get it into a format that we can actually make sense out of. And we're going to we're going to actually create a new data set that will have the results of our analysis. See it says write CSV. We're going to make a new CSV file. So we have to tell it where to put it. All right. Now I've got a folder called results. You can just leave it in the the general area here and we're going to give it a name. So instead of test, which is the default, maybe we'll call it word list results. Okay, and then here we have to specify that it is a CSV file and then click open. Oops, I have to type it again. <laughs> should have should have pressed that first. Word list results. Okay, so now it knows where to store the new file that we're going to be creating. All right. So now we have the CSV specified on the left side, and we have the new CSV specified on the right side. So at this point, we're ready to click Run. Right, and that Play button up here is the, the button to press to make the process function. Right, now it's processing the results. And we get taken to the results page once the process is complete. 
And so what we see again, the results overview tells you what kind of analysis you've done. And the example set word list to data tab shows us, this is a word list analysis, so it gives us a list of the words in the text and the frequency with which that word appears in the document and then in total, so across all of the different tweets, right? So this is within the tweet and this is across the tweets, all right? Now we can sort by that by clicking these, right? So uh, the most frequently occurring word, not surprisingly, is fracking, followed by gas, right? Because we are fracking for natural gas, shale gas, you know, so Chevron is a company, oil is also something that's fracked for Romania, this particular data set people were focusing on Romania. So you can kind of get a sense of what's available here. You also see not everything is English, so we have, you know, protesters, but also protestas. Uh, also these uh, sometimes retweeted, uh, misspelled words, you know, things like that do happen when you're dealing with social media. Uh, but this is the basic word list. And if we click the pencil paper thing, we go back to the process view. And if we want to go back to the analysis, we click the screen view here. All right. We can go back and forth. Uh, also, while in this results view, we can click plot and we can uh, graph this out. So maybe we want to see a pie chart of the terms we've looked at. We can click pie, group columns by word, and then maybe uh, the legend is the total. Okay. Uh, sorry, the value column will be the total. So this this creates well maybe this isn't the one we wanted. <laughs> Let's see. Check try out a different. Uh, we're gonna leave pie chart. Uh, let's see. What's what's the best way to do this? Legend column will be word. Okay, so what we've got is a lot of words here. So what we're going to do is actually refine the results we got by going back to the process file. And uh, so that entails clicking on the, the paper pen icon. And this time we're going we're gonna to double click this one. This process documents, although it's one box, actually contains a lot of sub processes. So if we double click that, we'll be brought within that box. And you see there's already a bunch of stuff here. And uh, we're not going to worry about that, but essentially what, what these things do is, for instance, it pulls out the stop words like prepositions so that words like and, I, be, it are not part of our results. We're mainly interested in the concepts and not the stop words. So to get our results a little bit more refined, what we want to do is process these things a little further. So under, under the the uh, text processing area, we're going to make a couple changes. All right. So what we want to do, actually we might find things quicker this way. Type stem. Right up here we want to do some stemming. So we'll drag this over. Sorry, things are a little laggy here on my computer. Bad internet connection, I guess. I don't know. Uh, and then we want to drag it on that wire. All right, now we're going to click that, and that's going to say English, and we're going to leave that. So what that does is it's going to find, uh, you know, if it's frack, fracking, fracked, fracker, all those things will be picked up if we stem, right, because it'll just look at the root word. And the other thing we want to do is, uh, what do we want to do? We want to prune this a little bit. Okay. Prune, prune our result. Okay, so to prune our result, we're actually going to go back up a level. So if we click this arrow, we'll go back to our original view of the process. And we'll click this once instead of twice. And over here, you'll see that we can do some pruning, right? We're going to prune our results, right? So we've got the choice of none, percentual, absolute, and by ranking. We're going to leave absolute. And we're going to say prune below 60 and prune above 1,000. And that's going to give us a shorter word list. All right, so we're going to rerun the process now. Okay, 
here there is the, the result and we're gonna go back to the to plotting the view and now you see much more legible right now we can actually make the words out this is actually a very useful type of uh, visual right because now I can actually see the words make sense out of the results so this is a uh, again this frequency so this is all based on word list frequencies so just basic text analysis but these are the discovered words if you want to call it that and this is helpful for getting a sense in a general way of what a whole bunch of text is is uh, containing right so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, thank you